my loves, welcome back to my channel. Let's get this out of the way. I'm aware I'm in a bikini. One, main reason, obviously, it's because I look good in them. Two, <laughs> today I am doing the basics of posing. In order to even get to the complexities of posing, you need to have the basics. So that is why I'm in a bikini. I don't necessarily have to be, but you can see like the lines of what I'm doing a lot easier. I feel like there's a really big misconception with posing and that misconception is making yourself look smaller with every pose that you do and that the main goal of posing is to look smaller. To me, posing should be whatever you want it to be personally. It shouldn't be to make your body look like someone else's. It can truly be whatever you want it to be. This video is purely for guidelines and because it can be overwhelming if you don't know where to start. So I'm just gonna cover the very, very simplest basics that there are so you can make any pose look good. And as long as you remember these techniques, you're gonna be fine. I guess I should introduce myself too if you don't know who I am. I am a model slash body posi influencer. I've been a model since I was 18. Um, that's been three years now. I would consider myself fairly good at posing. Okay, here's the first rule to posing. It's to relax and have fun. Sometimes I like to accentuate a certain feature of mine and other times I don't want to accentuate it as much. I used to um, look at um, other models posing when I was like a teenager and their bodies were drastically different from mine and I'm like, why when I do that pose, I don't look like them? Well, one, it's because I don't look like them, so please don't be discouraged if when you try poses, you don't look like the person doing them because that is not the point. The point is to show how it looks on your body and just because it looks different doesn't mean it looks bad, it's just different and that's beautiful and you're offering your own beauty and your own way and I have just been rambling and that's not what you came for, so let's just get into it. I am right now, I'm fully relaxed and I am just standing here like the standing emoji, not what you wanna do. Okay, so now we're just gonna make small adjustments and go from here. So you're gonna start standing and we're gonna work our way into a pose with all of the right techniques. I like to create more shape. So the first thing I'm gonna do is my feet are gonna come apart just a little and I'm gonna push my hips back. This is before and my hips are back. And I am sucking in a little and that is not to obscure the tummy. Let's look at the tummy. She's there, she's thriving, that's okay. I'm sucking in so that my body appears taller and if you don't wanna suck in, that's okay. I don't always suck in. And that created a little shape and what it naturally did is it pushed my chest forward. That is our second tip. You never wanna lean away from the camera. It makes your head look really small and the rest of your body look disproportionate. Pushing my hips back and I'm leaning forward a little bit. You don't want it to be too obvious. This is already 10 times more interesting than just standing here. So we've already started on our shape. I guess I should move my hair back. Maybe I should put it up. Is that cute? I think that's cute. I can't with the hair right now. Now I wanna create more lines in my body. So from here, you're gonna choose whichever leg you want and cross it over the other one. So you, this knee, whichever leg you choose, is gonna go over your other one. Now this is way more interesting, like immediately. So. What I see a lot of people doing sometimes is their shoulders are like really tense, like way too far back, way too far forward. You really just wanna like let them go and relax them. Don't jut out your chin. You always want your chin to be tucked in. This looks way worse than this does. So now we're gonna do our arms. The trick about the arms is this is creating no shape for me you want your arms to be creating more shape. So usually what I'll do on the opposite side where we crossed our leg, naturally a curve appears and we want to accentuate that even more. I will bring this elbow in and I'm gonna tuck it into my waist kind of behind. So see how it's kind of going behind my back and it kind of appears just like that. And you can kind of mirror that on this hand or kind of do whatever else feels comfortable. Sometimes I'll do the exact opposite and just kind of jut it out. Okay, I'm just gonna spitfire some examples of using your arms to accentuate your shape because I get that can be a little confusing. My pet peeve is hands. So 
I'm always looking at my hands when I'm posing to make sure that they look relaxed or they aren't awkward. So what I mean by awkward hands is here's an example, like I'm sitting here and my hands are all, they're stiff. So the rest of my body can be as relaxed as I want it to be, but if my fingers look stiff and not relaxed, that kind of messes up everything else anyway. Just place your hands naturally. There's like no tension in my fingers at all and they're falling like naturally wherever I place them. Just following these techniques, you have naturally landed a pose that is naturally suited to your body because you're following your natural curves and you're choosing whichever side you like best. Okay, just to recap after all of that talking, sorry, um, here are the do's and don'ts. So the other tip I have about posing, if it feels wrong, then you're doing it right. There are some things that don't feel natural but look really good on camera. So again, this is my right side, I'm putting this thigh over and I am moving this hip way out. So my entire body is pretty much slanted right now and we need to correct the rest of it. Right now it just looks very unnatural, like it's very clear this is not normal. I'm gonna lean forward a little bit. I'm gonna make it look natural with my arms. So I'm gonna let this arm follow this curve naturally. This hand and my wrist is curving right around um, my hip bone. Something I don't like to do is completely push my arm against my waist. I just worked really hard to create all this shape. Why am I gonna cover it up, you know? This doesn't feel natural. I'm not gonna go stand somewhere with my hip out this much like this. But that's what posing is for. So even though you don't stand like this normally, it looks really good on camera. I guess another tip, and I guess this crosses more into body positivity and not technicality, don't worry about what your stomach is doing. I used to always be worried about, you know, how do I make my stomach look the smallest? Or how do I diminish this as much as I can? And I'm aware, like, my stomach used to be a lot bigger. I am bloating a little bit today. I've got a little food baby in there. Rolls are cute in my opinion. I like showing them off. If in your pictures, a pose you're doing, your rolls are showing, like that's fine. Your body is doing what it should be, which is moving with you. This next tip, which is something that usually everyone already knows about themselves, but that is to find your best side or the side that makes you the most confident. My side that I prefer is my right side because I have my little, my mole. And I promise once you know your side, it makes everything else easier because you've already eliminated a bunch of other poses you can do, a bunch of different ways you can lean, and it just simplifies things. Okay, so now I just wanna spitfire like my favorite poses with all the techniques we just learned so you can screenshot them and try to recreate them and look hot doing so. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I am so tired. I have been filming for like an hour. I know this wasn't like a super complex video with a lot of different poses for a bunch of different scenarios, but I really wanted to make sure that we covered the basics first because I feel like that is where everyone gets stuck and decides to stop trying. Posing is so much fun when you just relax. So I'm really happy that I have a platform to share this information with you guys. I promise more videos are coming with more complex scenarios like wall posing or posing on the floor or sitting down or in the pool, etc. If you didn't know, I run a body positivity discord server called Posy Posse. Um, basically positivity posse if that wasn't clear enough. Sorry if I'm like mansplaining. Well, I can't because I'm not a man. 
Anyway, it's just like a really fun and kind community where it's a safe space to learn and talk about other interests with other people who resonate with the body positivity movement. We just crossed um, 1.1k members and I am doing a stream next Friday, March 18th um, at 4 p.m. Central Time where you can ask me questions and learn about the future of the Discord server because I have some really exciting things planned. I really want Posse Posse to grow into something more, so I hope you guys will join me. I'm pretty active in there, so you can also join to talk to me if you would like. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and all of your support. All of my social medias are in the link down below, as well as the link to join my Discord server, Posse Posse. I will see you guys in my next video, and I hope this helped. All right, bye guys. I love you so much.